Okay, in this presentation, I'm going to go and show how to convert from the cash basis to the accrual basis. And I'm going to be going through a detailed example here with our sales revenue where we convert it from the cash to the accrual basis. And that's going to involve our accounts receivable and our cash account. But what I want to explain here is when we're converting from our cash to our accrual basis, it's as simple as taking our cash amount here and then looking at the changes here in our assets or liabilities and summing our debits and credits and then looking for the balancing amount here in either our revenue or our expense account uh, between our balance sheet accounts here, our assets, liabilities, and this cash account and the uh, revenue or expense accounts here on our income statement. So just going through a simple example here where we had a $100,000 debit balance to our cash here and then we had an unearned revenue here, a credit balance of uh, $5,000. So we're going to need a balancing entry here to, in this case, it would be a revenue account here for $95,000. That would be the $100,000 minus the $5,000 and that would be uh, 95000 and that would be converting our cash basis in, our, in, in this unearned revenue to an accrual basis here in our revenue account. Now we could do the same thing here by looking at the case where we had a reduction here of $100,000 or $10,000 in our unearned revenue. So we compare that to our cash amount here and then the balancing amount here would be, well we had a debit here of $100,000 plus a debit amount here of $10,000, so we'd have to have a crediting balance here in our revenue of, of $110,000. So that's basically what we're going to go through here. We're going to look at this cash amount, that would be our cash basis, and then any change in our asset or liabilities, and then we're going to transfer that particular account either over to a revenue or an expense account. And that balancing amount here will be our conversion here from the cash to the accrual basis. Okay, let's look at an example here of how we can change from the cash basis to the accrual basis. And we're going to do it here in terms of sales revenue. So for our example here, we received $100,000 in cash for those sales during the year. So that would be our cash basis here, $100,000. Now we also had accounts receivable for the year uh, for those sales revenue. So at the beginning of the year, there was $100,000. And at the end of the year, it was $150,000. So we had an increase here in an accounts receivable of $50,000. So we'd increase our accounts receivable for that $50,000. Now the simplest way to determine our sales revenue here on an accrual basis would be our doing our debit and credit balances. So let's look here at our debit amount here of $50,000 in accounts receivable and we also have a debit amount here in the cash received for $100,000. So what we need is a crediting balance here in our sales revenue and our sales revenue would be comprised of the cash uh, that we receive plus the accounts receivable, a change in our accounts receivable. So we received here $100,000 in cash plus we had $50,000 here in accounts receivable and both of those were debit increases here. So our credit amount here to sales revenue would be $150,000 and that's adding both the uh, $100,000 plus the $50,000 here to give us the $150,000 amount. Now, if we go down here and compare, I would have taken our accounts receivable or a debit amount here and uh, credited it here in our revenue account uh, that increased our revenue by $50,000 for that increase in accounts receivable. We can compare that with our cash that we received as well of $100,000 here. So uh, taking this revenue increase of $50,000 plus the cash basis of $100,000, that gives us a sales revenue of $150,000 for the year. So uh, this we increased our cash uh, net income here by the inc amount of the increase here in our, in our revenue or, or the what we recognized here from our accounts receivable for $50,000. Alright, let's look at the case here where we had a reduction here in our accounts receivable from the beginning of the year to the end of the year and this reduction here was $10,000. Now, again, we we're going to convert our, our sales revenue from the cash basis to the accrual basis. And we're going to go through the same method that we used here for our, our 
case where we had an increase in our accounts receivable. So again, our cash basis, we would have received here of $100,000. So that's our cash basis. Now, this reduction for our accounts receivable, that would be recorded here as a decrease or a credit to our accounts receivable for $10,000 in this case. So again, we'd go and we'd look at our debits and credits here. We, um, we'd have a debit amount here of $100,000 here in our cash that we received and a reduction here or a credit, a balance here of $10,000 in our accounts receivable. So what we need here is a balancing uh, entry here to our sales revenue. And that would be the debit or an increase here of $100,000 for the cash received minus the um, reduction here in our accounts receivable of $10,000 and that would be a credit amount here. So our a balancing credit entry here would be for $90,000. The difference between $100,000 of the cash basis here less the accounts receivable here of 10 th change of $10,000 or reduction of $10,000 for the year. So now if we go down here and look at our accounts receivable uh, where we had this $10,000 credit amount here we would have recognized it here uh, just say as a reduction here for this example here a debit amount here to our revenue. So comparing our revenue here where we're decreased by $10,000 with the cash that we received here of $100,000 that again gives us here the uh, sales revenue on our accrual basis of $90,000. So this reduction here in accounts receivable reduces our cash net income when we're com uh, converting it here from the cash basis to the accrual basis.